god, oh my god. I forgot to say, I forgot to do my intro before opening this chest. What kind of retard am I? I'm so stupid. Anyways, anyone, that was the compass. Did I say anyone that was the compass? I meant everyone, that's the compass. In this, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, part 52. Thank you, oh my god, look, it's a piece of heart. I told you there's a piece of heart in this dungeon. I wasn't lying. You thought I was lying, didn't you? You're like, no way is there a piece of heart inside of the dungeon. Are you a retard? Anyways. Anyways, we got a piece of heart. Awesome. We've collected two so far. We need two more. Because we're halfway there. Whoa. Living on a prayer. And now with the skull shows, we're also halfway there. Whoa. Living on a prayer. Look at this. We have 50 tokens. Whoa. No, I don't want to save. That's right. I'm just cool like that. Anyways, we're gonna get some more freaking blue fire. Yeah. Like, I can't believe that. I was just, I just opened that chest on a whim at this, before I even started my timer, even. So I'm gonna have to stop a little bit before I hit 11 minutes, or whatever. I normally do that anyways. Uh, let's fill our last, oh, our last bottle already is full. Look at that. No, I don't want to Oh, shit. Now I have to keep this recording. Damn it. Now, if anything fucks up in the recording, I'm gonna have to do a lot of crap just to fix everything. Anyways, so now that we have that, that room is done. Um, you don't even have to go to that room. That's just for the compass and the piece of heart and the sculpture. But you don't have to. So, anyways, this next room that's coming up here. This is probably my one of my least favorite rooms, not only in this dungeon, but in the entire game. Like seriously, you will see just how terrible this place can be. I mean, look at this. It's an ice sliding puzzle with five silver rupees. This is a bull, and there's also a skull in here. I know that because I just heard it. Kind of forgot about it, but whatever. Anyways, there's that first silver rupee, I guess. And there's also ice keys in here, as you can probably see back there. Uh, get away! Damn it! Damn you, you fucking ice keys. And then you fly away. There. Ha. Huh. What, how does it feel? How does it feel? Oh, thank you for the three hearts. You're awesome. Except you're not, because you're a fucking ice keys. Sorry for all the swearing, but... I feel it necessary. Grab the token, Link. Token number 51 in Area 51. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to push it this way now. I guess there's an ice keys behind me. And now it's a dead ice keys behind me. You noob. And we're gonna get onto this little platform here and jump for it! Yes! And we're gonna kill that guy. Hopefully that's the last ice keys in this room. It looks like it was. And we're gonna push this over this way now. There's more blue fire up there if you need it. And there's some rupees floating in the air. How are we gonna get those, you might ask? Well, maybe we'll find out. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Anyways, there's the third silver rupee, and here's the fourth silver rupee right here. You can just climb onto it without any help what whatsoever. We're just going to go ahead and push this block into the pit now, I think. I think that's what you're supposed to do, because you have to take it back over here. So you can push it uh, up. First, you have to push it up this way. Yeah, this block puzzle isn't really too hard. It's just annoying and tedious. And looks like there is a silver rupee up there encased in red ice. So we're obviously gonna wanna and we're gonna wanna uh get rid of this. There we go, and that'll get us our fifth blue rupee. Yay! Yay everyone, clap with me. Good job, Link. You are awesome. Do your little link dance that you were doing retardedly in the last video. Uh Anyways, I think this area is also clear of sculptures now, and it looks like it is. Awesome. So we're just going to push this into the pit again, so that we can actually solve this ice puzzle now. And get to the area where the gate was opened. Oh, uh, let me see here. Actually, I might want to get- I need to get more blue fire first. Uh, was I supposed to do that? I think so. I think I can get up to that blue fire from here. And jump for it, Link! 
Good job, Link. Good job. Anyway, so you're going to need two more blue fires. Oh, actually, you need one blue fire to get out of this dungeon. Uh, another blue fire to unfree King Zora, and if you want, you can get a third blue fire for something else. Also, you can play the Song of Time up there to make some blocks appear that allow you to get those rupees, but I don't really feel I need it. Anyways, we're going to push the block this way now. And then you're going to want to push it to the south. Push it south, push it south, push it east, push it west. Don't lag out, please. I need to see my timer again. Five minutes, thirty seconds, about. Please stop lagging out. I already have to keep this recording, so I don't want it to. I don't want lag to stop it. Okay, 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 okay. You've you've had your fun. You've had your fun now. Thank you. Oh my god, that was a lot of lag. But the lag monster has been tamed, apparently. But not forever. I can almost guarantee you that. So we climb up here. And there's another one of these retards. I'm surprised I actually haven't been hit with a stalactite yet in this area. Oh, there's another one. Look at that. There we go. So you need one blue fire here to actually get out of the dungeon. Uh, you can hit all three of, this ice, all of these ice blocks with your blue fire. I only hit two there, but I don't really care. And there's a random door here. What the hell? Hmm? What's this? Oh my gosh, the boss of the dungeon! It's a white wolf boss. What are we gonna do to kill this thing? That. Just wait for him to turn around, or... If he misses you, he'll turn around like that. Just backslice him. You're good. Anyways... Ah, uh, here is this... The treasure of this dungeon, I guess you could say. The dungeon's item from the dungeon's boss, surprisingly. No, it's not the mini boss, it's the boss. Anyways, we get the iron boots. So heavy, you can't run. So heavy, you can't float. So OMG. Oh my god, what is happening? I'm so scared. Holy, sh it's chic, look at that. What do you want? We meet again, Argon. Hmm. If you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. Who's that one exception? Is it King Zora? I managed to rescue the Zora Princess. Oh, the Zora Princess, Ruto. But since but she left for the to head for the Water Temple. Cool. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the Water Temple is the source of that curse. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. It'll never melt anyways, even after I beat that temple. If you have the courage to confront the danger and save the Zoras, I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. Cool. Time passes, people move. Like a river flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn to noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection. The clear water surface reflects growth. Now listen to the serenade of water. There to reflect upon yourself. I believe this is the shortest song in the game at five notes. Let's just see if I'm right. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. It's a beautiful song, though. Let's just listen to that. This is, uh, I th I'd have to say this is my second favorite song, next to one that we haven't learned yet. Yeah, I really like it. It's just so nice. So soothing. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, sorry about that. You have learned the serenade of water. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Argon, I'll see you again. And take note of epicness. That wasn't as epic as your last one, dude. You need some new material or something. Anyways, so that's that. And now to get out of this dungeon, we're gonna use our new iron boots here. They're not actually an item. There's like you basically switch them out for your Kokiri boots, just like that. And you can open this door now. Do do do. You can't breathe underwater if you start choking. Take off those boots. I'm already out of the water, Navi. Don't be so retarded, please. Anyway, so, uh, looks like we're almost out of time here. We have like a minute or so left in this video. Uh, not this recording session, though. I want to get the big orange sword quest done, at least, in this video. 
or not in this video. That would be that would be epic to get it done in this video, but in this recording session, I mean. So, anyways, I think we're just gonna cut this episode here, cut it short, maybe a little bit. Not really, but whatever. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, that was the ice cavern. Oh, and we'll never have to return there again. Yay! My least favorite dungeon is done with. Awesome. Anyways, again, thanks so thank. Thank you to everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.